Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we got the Mavic Pro Classic out here with the Samsung 360 camera attached to it. We've got the 360 camera recording. I'm just going to do some basic tests. This guy's a little bit heavy, so I've checked the air map hover. I'm good to go on my no tams, my weather. I've got about 10 miles of visibility, slight gusts about 3 miles an hour. Settled down from a little bit of the earlier flight, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take it up. Now, one of the things I notice is the Mavic, the Classic, still has the precision takeoff point. I did not notice that in the two. And uh, definitely it's having some trouble, now I wouldn't say trouble lifting the weight, but it is definitely uh, working to lift that weight. And so we got we got the uh, camera in the air, it's setting in. I'm just going to give it a moment or two to set in. Uh, again, I forgot my uh, regular fly phone uh, at home when I was in a hurry to leave this morning, so I'm using my regular phone to fly. Um, so I don't want that. I want to. So I'm going to be capturing regular video off the the, uh, the copter as well as the 360 on the gear, and uh, I'm just going to take this out. I'm going to adjust you guys on the hat cam a little bit. I need to get a haircut here pretty soon. And I'm just going to sort of fly this over. Now, I'm really interested. I've, I've seen a lot of good things about the, the Gear 360. Now, this is the original Gear 360. It's not the newer one. I picked it up for about 68 bucks off of Amazon, brand new. And I figured it was really worth it if I get some higher quality video. Because as I've talked about uh, in some of my other 360 videos, one of the big issues with 360 video is the uh, the aperture and the depth of field usually has a fairly shallow focus so you know it's not really that good for a lot of the drone flights and I want to kind of take this out over these little ponds and then I'll just kind of circle it back but the um, the pieces as uh, I was saying with the with the aperture being you know so wide because obviously it's a wide lens and if you put an aperture in the middle then you have problems and the aperture is really what gives you focus um, you, you know you, you get uh, blurry images so I'm hoping that the lenses of this correct for that because I've, I've really read that the, you know they seem to be pretty good so uh, and one of the things Stan I'd like you know I know I know you don't like the the, the top look but I really do because it's sort of like you're running, and I, did, I forgot to do autofocus again. That really just gets me. Stan, you're supposed to be my co-pilot, buddy. You're supposed to remind me of that. So anyways, uh, we'll bring it back up this way. And uh, But I really love the look. It's sort of like I, I'm, I'm riding horseback on the drone. I want to get to adjust my hat cam. It's slipping down. Um... And I'll take a beat on this. So uh, let's let's take it out. I'm okay with taking this out a little bit. I'm a little bit concerned with the weight, watching the battery. Uh, we'll kind of take it out over the water, see about getting some 360 on the water. And then we'll just kind of bring it around over the water. And uh, But I really kind of like that look of seeing the props, being able to look around. It's just like I'm sitting right on top of the drone. One of the pieces I have not had the chance to do, but I want to, is really um, watch this this in uh, uh, 360 goggles or uh, just making sure I don't don't hit the boat. So I want to turn this back up. So I want to come back up this way because I just fly straight up. And uh, but I really want to try this in 360 goggles because I think this would be really really cool you know, uh, drone stuff in a 360 goggle. Um, again, just kind of taking it up. And, uh, just want to spin it around. I don't want to go too far up. I want to take it back over. Let's shoot back towards me. Because I'm only up about 6.2 meters. So we just, uh, I kind of want to get some ground effects. Sorry about if there's wind noise getting in there. I'll try to cut it uh, a little bit, but again, I forgot my regular fly phone where I use the mic to record on it. Um, so it depend upon the hat cam. And 
I've got to keep myself in a position so I can see the drones. I can't keep out of the wind as much as I normally would like to. So far, so good. Um, now, this has the 3D printed bracket on it. I'm really interested to see how, uh, how this works, how the end footage is. And so, again, whoops, I don't want to go into the trees, but I just want to kind of fly down. Maybe we'll fly down, uh, get some, go out over the water a little bit, and then fly down by the hollyhock and then twist it back around and come on up. And I think that's what we'll do. It will just fly down there. And then, because uh, that's not too far down. And we'll just uh, take it down by the hollyhock. So actually, I'm a little bit excited. So I got the Mavic 2 Pro in. So I've, did my, I've completed my first flight with that. Uh, it's getting um, late in the uh, summer. So basically, summer's almost over. Um, so let's... Let's get see, see if we can get some 360 of this kind of going sideways, and then we'll spin it around. But... Uh, and the beaches in general should start opening up, so I should have start having a little bit more opportunity to uh, fly in places because uh, they won't be as crowded um, now. So I'm looking forward to that. Get the uh, uh, Mavic 2 out there, do some stuff. You know, still fly the Mavic 1. I still love the Mavic 1. Uh, I do not intend on selling my Mavic 1 or my Mavic Classic, whatever you want to whatever you want to call this thing. Um, because I just really love this copter. And it's really so versatile, and it's a proven platform. So I'm definitely going to keep this. Um, and I'm, I, you know, obviously got the two. And, and again, I think they're just, you know, two different type of tools, um, you know, to play around with. And so, uh, and, and I see a lot of stuff, potential for the two coming in the future also. So I think it'll be a lot of fun. So here I'm just kind of, I want to see what the 360 of it looks like. And then I'm just going to spin this back around and then head this back up towards me. Uh, over the water. And... Just beautiful morning. A little bit, well, you know, for flying the gusts actually aren't bad at all for the, um, the Mavic. It's just the recording makes it a little bit difficult. But uh, we're just going to fly it back up here. And again, I'm only up about 16 meters or so, so definitely very close to the deck. Uh, definitely pulling, pulling on the battery quite a bit with that extra weight. Uh, I don't like to do, especially if I'm flying something this heavy, this is the heaviest payload I've flown on the Mavic. You know, as you've seen in the, um, some of the videos with regards to... Uh, the 360. It is a heavy camera. I think uh, around 185 grams. You know, of, uh, was it 185 grams? I can't remember. But it was. It was. It's the heaviest camera I have that I've flown on the Mavic. And so even even though I don't want to deplete the battery, I you know this is putting a load on the motors in the ESCs, and I sort of want to respect that and kind of keep that to a minimum. So I kind of treat this as about half flight time, if you will. So. Uh, Again, kind of bringing it back up towards me. And uh, I think we'll bring it down because, again, power is dropping pretty quick. Uh, I have to say, this is quieter. This is definitely a quieter bird. Than uh, the two. And there we are. Okay, so let's turn it around back around this way. And let's uh, back it up. Now let's bring it down. And we gotta jog it over and turn it a little bit.
and spring down a little bit more back up spring it over and just kind of jacking it into position uh, the Mavic 2 definitely appears to be be a little bit more precise in its movements and things like that. So we've had another great flight. I'm going to go ahead and save the video out here. So the video saved out. Want to take a look. I don't know. My 360 camera seemed to have stopped recording. So I don't know why. So I'm not sure what. Because it was fully charged. The way it looks, it filled up the SD card. That that flight filled up the SD card. So, hopefully we got some video out of it. Uh, if we didn't, well, we didn't. We'll have to go back to the drawing board. But I think I got a 16 gig SD card in there, and that's a 4 gig. So, I am going to have to probably try getting a bigger SD card. So, hopefully it saved out something uh, before it shut down, and we'll see. So, anyways, let me know what you guys are thinking about for lunch. Another great flight of this uh, Mavic classic uh, with the 360 camera over the St. Clair River and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.